Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. We have a new tr uh, trading signal uh, service available on Patreon, and if you join that, you will receive uh, full uh, technical analysis um, daily. So we'll start out by looking at uh, Great British Pound, US dollar, and as you can see, we have pulled back quite significantly, and this is mainly due to the um, to the appreciation of the US dollar. So that hey um, that will get this pair to drop, and at the moment we're uh, trading below the 50 moving average. We will most likely target the 300 moving average underneath. Technical indicators are fairly bearish at this point, so it is uh, it's highly likely that we'll go towards the 300 and the 50, 150 uh, moving average down here at the 12.78. Look at the MACD, it's bearish. Um, the RSI is fairly flat, the uh, um, CCI is fairly bearish, the same goes for the stochastic, and the bullish bound, we are basically touching the lower part of the bullish bound, but we're not significantly crossing the Bollinger Band. So most likely trade uh, towards the uh, 300 moving average and 150 moving average. And there we'll figure out whether or not there will be support. If you break that, 200 moving, moving average underneath. No interest in basically uh, buying this because of the US dollar index appreciating. So US dollar yen, we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential moving average, pound resistant. And we, at this point, we'll probably go also to the uh, 50 moving average where we'll find significant resistance. Uh, there is no, no reason for uh, to uh, buy this at this point. We have been for in a um, downward channel uh, for several months now. And before we break this upper channel here and these moving averages, there's no reason to basically buy this. We'll have to have a trend reversal at this point just sell every time it gets as high as possible. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point. MACD, RSI is basically flat, but the CCI is very, very bullish. The same goes for stochastic, and we have a lot of room to the upside in the Bollinger Band. So getting close to this uh, trend line here is probably your best entry for a sell. Look at the US dollar. Um, Euro US dollar, we can see that we have fallen quite significantly. At this point, we are most likely going to find uh, support here, just at the 150 moving average, and that means that we'll fall to 11.55. Technical indicators are well; they're improving. Um, this has all to do with the, with the US dollar index as well. We tried to rally, pulled back, um, but as long as the US dollar index is rallying that will mean that this uh, pair will basically be in decline. So you can see the MACD is bearish, the RSI, CCI, stochastic is basically turned around at the moment, and the Bollinger Band is stretching, but it will probably fall uh, for one or two more days. This is not a good sign or a nice uh, candlestick, so uh, this is basically our target. Rally to the upside, we'll find that the 50 moving average at 11, 70, 76 will be significant resistance at this point. So Aussie dollar, US dollar. So we have broke down below the 150. We have rallied today. And at this point, we are probably going to head towards the 50 moving average at 0 0.71, uh, 57. Um, yes, technical indicators have all turned around in this um in this, in this currency pair, um, I was a little bit uh, early to buy this, uh, but should have bought it down here. I bought it uh, up here somewhere. So, but it is turned around now, and it, at this point, I think that we are going to head towards the 50 moving average. Look at the technical indicators. MACD is heading, uh, trading underneath, trending underneath the signal line. RSI looking really bullish. The same goes for the CCI. Same is for the stochastic. It's basically turning around now. Cross the signal probably tomorrow or on Wednesday. And look at the Bollinger Band. We have a lot of momentum to the upside. So look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. It has basically fallen apart today. And that is 
it is uh, what is expected. We are expecting this pair to go and retest these lows here uh, around uh, 13.09. Um, we have found a little bit of support here at the 50 moving average, uh, but technical indicators are turning around now quite significantly, and that is an indication that we are going to go lower with this currency pair. This will be our first uh, support area. If that breaks, then we'll go and head towards these lows around the 12.88 uh, or, or, or thereabout, or even lower than that, somewhere here. So no interest basically buying this. This is some, uh, we have been in a downtrend and we will most likely continue this downtrend when we break this, this support area. So hope you find this uh, video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by clicking the subscribe button, hit the uh, like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. Welcome to um, join us on Patreon as well. A lot of people have already joined and are using our service there. Good luck and thank you very much.